guys, this episode, we're gonna do something fun. We're gonna create a Rails engine that inserts a middleware into your Rails application to process the request before it gets to Rails. There's a lot of reasons why you might want to do something like this, um, but we're gonna do one purely for fun. Um, Matt Swanson and Aaron Francis were having a conversation about databases earlier, and I threw in a joke that, you know, maybe your website just needs to work between the hours of nine to five. So that's what we're going to build. We're going to build a Rails engine that has a rack middleware that uh, only serves requests between the hours of nine and five. So let's dig into this. I have a Rails application um, created already, but we need to then build our gem. So we're going to say Rails plugin new, and we're going to call it nine to five. And if we go into the nine to five directory, we can start building our gem. So first step is we need to update the gem spec. We're going to put in a placeholder um, website. We're going to also do the description as a placeholder and we'll get rid of these for now so that we can actually have this gem loaded in development from our Rails application. So when you create a Rails plugin, it's going to generate um, one extra file called the Rail tie. Uh, this is a small lightweight version of a Rails engine. So the Rail tie is a uh, integration into Rails but it doesn't automatically load the app folder, so it doesn't have controllers and routes and things like that. Um, and that's fine. We don't actually need to do any of that. Um, we're not adding routes. We actually want to intercept before it gets to Rails, which is why we're creating a rack middleware. So if you aren't familiar, um, 